Hi, Christina Subotina is here. Welcome to my YouTube channel about law and investments. In this video, I'll share with you how to pass California bar exam. What was my strategy? What is the attorney version of the exam? What resources I found the most helpful? Whether a tutor was helpful? And at the end, I'll share with you a couple of my tips and tricks, including the bar exam topic predictions. As you may know from my previous videos, I'm a New York attorney and I got a job offer in 2021 to join big law firm and specifically their Palo Alto office. And in order to do that, I had to take California bar exam as a New York attorney. And that's why I would like to share with you how I passed it. I passed 2021 July California bar exam and I hope this video will help you to be more efficient with your bar preparation using my experience. First question, what is California bar exam? Assuming that you're already preparing for the bar exam, you're registered or you're practicing attorney, you know what it is. Uh, but the main thing to realize that it's one of the hardest exams in the country. It's very unique. So um, I already passed the New York bar exam and I thought it's, it's the same, uh, but it's kind of not because the graders have their own system, how they grade essays, they have their own expectations. And I found them quite unique. Specifically, if you identify the topic correctly, for example, torts, you get 40 points. And then you need to identify five issues, correctly analyze them, make a conclusion. Uh, and for each issue, you will get five points. So it will bring you to 65 points per essay to pass. Um, that's different than New York. And that's something that I realized when I was preparing for the bar exam and that shifted my strategy. I was focusing on hitting those issues, sub-issues, and analyzing them to score at least 25 points once I realized what topic is being tested. Second thing, the California bar exam uh, has two versions, full version and attorney version. Attorney version includes only five essays and performance tests, and those attorneys from different states who have been practicing for at least four years and they're in good standing, they're eligible to take attorney version of the exam, which is shorter, which is one day. And, uh, you know, me personally and many other people feel, what is it here to decide if you're eligible? Of course, take the attorney version of the exam. And that was my decision, but I know many people who decided to take the full version of the bar exam. And the reason why is that, um, for in two days, you will be tested on multiple subjects and subtopics. And that way you have less risks of getting a weird topic, subtopic on the essay portion of the exam and just not knowing what to write and then not hitting the passing score. So I would say attorney version of the bar exam is a little bit more risky. It takes the same amount of time to study, but the studying will be more focused. Uh, because if you take the full version of the exam, you need to prepare for the essays and for the MBE, but then everything that is being tested is kind of spread thin. If you have a good understanding of frequently tested subjects um, and you studied just to have that good enough understanding, I think for the full version of the exam, that's good enough. But for the essay portion, and if you especially taking just the essay portion, you need to go a little bit deeper and make sure you really understand all the subjects because once you got that subtopic uh, on the essay portion, you have an hour to write it. And if you don't know it, it's that is very risky because all of your points are coming from just six assignments as opposed to 200 uh, multiple choice questions. I personally chose the attorney version of the exam just because I like to focus on something and I like writing more than tests, but it really depends on your personality, how well you did at law school, what did you like more, writing or tests. Second question uh, is what resources helped me the most? So because I was taking the attorney version of the exam, I shifted my focus from taking just the Barbary course that is not specifically targeting attorney's version of the exam, to be honest. They just cut the MBE portion and they give you the essay portion, but I don't think it's deep enough. And I don't think that they um, really fully understand what graders, uh, California bar exam graders are expecting from you. So instead I took Mary Basic, two books, here you can see them. So this blue book, Mary Basic for essay portion, 
is incredible. I cannot emphasize it more. Um, and the reason why is that, you know, on the MB portion of the exam, frequently tested topics are different from the essay version. And that took me some time to realize that learning fee simple, absolute and determinable is helpful on the MBE, but it's not really helpful on the essay. They rarely test that. And if they're testing that, that would be like one little, one little question. So I love um, about Marie Basic that she's really drilling on frequently tested uh, topics for the essay portion. And the way she does it, she lays down all the theory, then she gives you um, the actual essays to practice, and then she breaks it down to a table that shows you, here's the issue, here's the analysis, here's the conclusion. So you can really test yourself. Did you hit enough um, issues to analyze? Because as I mentioned in the beginning, you have to hit five issues and analyze them properly. Because the way she lays down a material and a nice table really helps you to see, okay, did I miss something? Did I analyze it correctly? And I think it's a really good way of uh, learning the theory. Because once you read the theory, um, it is really, really not good enough to be able to analyze it. And I learned it the hard way, um, you know, from law school, when I memorize something and then I go and do the test, it's just, it never works. Like I never know how to apply that. So I cannot emphasize more that you need to practice. Get over the uh, theory as soon as possible, have your outline and then practice, practice, practice. And I really like the structure that Marie Basic uses, that you really see here are the issues that you are hitting. Some of the issues are required to pass. Some of the issues are optional to pass. So it's really good way to start thinking about the essay portion of the exam. And the second book she has about performance test, I think it's also very helpful. And by the way, she uses the real essays and real performance tests that the State Bar of California have been given in previous exams. I think it's really helpful to focus on the released essays and performance tests because you get a chance to see the passing uh, answers released by the State Bar of California and compare those to your answers. And it gives you a good idea what is your level and where you're trying to go. Other books that I found extremely helpful are Bible, Attack Plan. That's something that I purchased from my tutor and I use the tutor to review my essays, re respond to my questions and just overall support me throughout the journey because I really needed to pass as a big law uh, associate, you know, they fire you <laughs> if you don't pass. I was like, I really need to pass this. Bible is basically the same as Mary Basic, but it uses different language. So if you didn't understand something in one book, you will get it in another book. An attack plan is just narrowed down version of the Bible. So the idea, at least for me, and that was my strategy, is to go from a lot of material to less and to little material. And because I practiced throughout the process, um, I kind of memorized the most important things. And um, at the end, I had maybe five page um, outlines for each subject, but I started from 30 pages of materials for each subject. Another resource that I found extremely helpful, and I already mentioned that the, this is released answers from the State Bar of California. And my tutor actually did a nice job um, just putting them all together and then creating those tables when he uh, analyzes the released answers. Okay, here's the uh, issue that the person spotted, here's the analysis, here's the conclusion. And you, you might know already that, but the State Bar of California releases two answers for each essay. You kind of can compare that people have different styles, they identify different issues, but there are certain commonalities between those uh, essays. And usually those commonalities are the required issues that you have to spot to pass. So he put together this uh, table, which I found really helpful when I was preparing for the bar exam. Another thing um, is podcast that I found extremely helpful. Toolbar podcast, as you can see here. So this is a tool that you can use when you walk, you cook, you run, you exercise, when you just want to rest from the screen time. And I found it extremely helpful uh, because the way they give you material is first 
here's the, the theory, here are the rules, and then here's the application. So it really sticks to your brain, the rules, because they apply it immediately. And to be honest with you, some of the rules that I, I thought I understood from basic, from Bible, attack plan, I truly understood them only uh, through the podcast, when I was listening to the podcast. So I really highly recommend throughout my whole uh, bar preparation journey, I was just constantly listening to those podcasts when I was on a break, uh, cooking, and sometimes it actually was part of the study because they explain material really well. They give great examples that stick to you and make you understand the material. Highly recommend. And the last thing that helped me a lot um, is tutor. I think having a tutor is optional, but I wanted that support system, a person who would answer my questions throughout the day, every day, um, because sometimes I would find mistakes in some of the materials or mistakes in the released essays and it would drive me crazy. So uh, I really love that support. And also I save time uh, reviewing my essays. I always review my essays, compare them to the released answers, but sometimes I'm missing things um, and the tutor has such a great eye and he, in the past, he was a grader who worked for the State Bar of California. So he really understands how they grade and he flies through your essay, you know, in 30 seconds <laughs> and he really notices things through the eyes of the grader. And so his feedback was invaluable. So I do recommend that, but I don't think that this is required to pass. If you have to choose, I would say books of uh, Mary Basic and looking at the released answers, which are posted on the State Bar of California website for free, would be sufficient for you to successfully pass the bar exam, assuming you put enough time to study. Okay, what was my strategy? I already touched base on that. Um, so I was using all of those resources and the order of operation for me was first, I was reading Marie Basic. Then I was practicing the essays at the back uh, of the book after each uh, subject. Uh, and she gives you approximately four or five essays. Then I will switch to Bible and read the material again, because at the end of the day on the essay, you have to know rules by heart. As opposed to MB, you just need to make sure you apply them. And just a few rules you have to really memorize. With the essay, you have to know for each subject, I would say three, five pages of material you have to know by heart. Just when you identify the issue, you immediately type the rule. And it could be a short one, but you have to know the top of your head so you have enough time to analyze that. So after Bible, I would practice again. I would do probably three more essays and then I will read that tag plan. And it's a shortened version of the Bible, as I mentioned before. And then I will practice again. And at the end, for each subject, I would have my own outline, approximately five pages each subject, and it would be just the structure, you know, uh, here is the subtopic, here are the sub-subtopics. So that would be a replica of what I did on the actual bar exam. Whenever I identified the issue that is being tested, I would write that outline, I would type it out so to make sure I don't forget. And the reason why it's important, especially for California bar exam, because as I said in the beginning, you have to hit five issues, analyze them properly, make the conclusion, and that's how you get your 25 points on top of 40 points, and that gets you to 65 uh, passing score for each essay and performance test. So a couple of things that I would like to recommend. Um, for the mindset, I really recommend reading the book The Power of Now, um, breathing. Uh, if you never meditated and it's stressful for you, don't start now, but full breaths, um, a conscious relaxation of your body is really helpful because the exam is all about being focused, but at the same time, loose. Uh, it's like in sports. You have to be focused, but loose to uh, notice the opportunities. On the bar exam, noticing the details that give you an idea, huh, this is the issue that is being tested. And staying loose in your body, that's something that helps me. So whenever I notice tension in my stomach or in my shoulders, I take a full breath and I don't take a break from the exam, obviously, like we don't have time for that, but that full breath helps me to relax and it brings me back to um, what I'm currently doing, to reading, typing, uh, identifying the issues. 
So that is the mindset. Another thing called luck, um, you know, many professors, many bar prep courses, they give you predictions. Okay, on this exam, these are the topics that will be tested. Is it completely BS? No. As you see on the screen, there is a chart showing when each topic has been tested in the past. So you kind of can see logically, okay, if constitutional law hasn't been tested for four years, it might be time uh, for that to be tested. And it doesn't mean that you have to abandon all other subjects and focus only on the subjects that you think are going to be tested, no. But I personally use that strategy um, to kind of focus on things a little bit more that I thought will be tested. And my tutor and I, we predicted four out of five uh, subjects for the essay, just because it made sense that they're going to show up, but the graders, they like to surprise you. So please don't rely on that, but use it as an additional tool to maybe strengthen uh, some of the topics that you think are likely to show up. And the last and very important piece of advice, and that was part of my strategy, you already know that you're going to get ethics essay. That's a given. Every bar exam has a separate ethics essay. So it's like a free lunch that I think you should start preparing for since the beginning and throughout the bar exam. And the reason why is that if you get um, a topic on another essay that you don't really know and you do kind of bad, and then you got a stellar grade for the ethics portion, for the ethics essay, that's going to balance it out. So I think it's a really good strategy to minimize the risk, especially if you're taking a tourney version of the exam, which means every essay uh, weights a lot. So you want to have that golden ticket that will kind of carry you through if you mess up uh, on one of the topics. And another three lunch uh, is performance test. That's a guarantee. You know you're going to get it. Um, and it's pretty easy to practice that. You don't even need to know theory. What is important to focus with the performance test is structure. Because I also mentioned in the beginning, my tutor was a grader uh, and he said graders have such a little time to review uh, each essay. Imagine it's thousands of people. So they really kind of go through structure. And if they see the structures in place, they might not notice a couple of details. So for performance test, structure is everything. And to learn that skill, um, where do you start? Library or uh, facts? It, it's personal preference. People say library, but I always start from facts because that's how I practice. Client comes to me and says, okay, I have X problem. And then I'm thinking about how to help him and I'm finding the law that applies to the situation. But bar prep courses, they usually tell you start with library. In order to find out for yourself what works for you, you have to actually practice, see what works for you and what doesn't, don't do that. And one more trick, a performance test weights more than the acid portion because it's 90 minutes. So you see, ethics guaranteed, it's not hard to study that, not a lot of material. Um, performance test guaranteed and it weights more than the acid. And it's completely doable for that to nail those two. And that minimizes all other risks. When you get a weird subject um, uh, that you have not studied, you have not seen, or maybe you, you studied, but you don't understand. So these are three tips and tricks and plus the mindset, which is very important, help me to pass the bar exam. And I hope my experience will help you to nail California bar exam. Good luck.